Good morning, folks. We've got several items to hit today. The Sun unloaded some more CMEs. We've got a video recommendation and top science news, starting with our star over at spaceweathernews.com. We find the last 24 hours on the Sun not at all quiet. You can also notice SDO is having some glitches on the Southern Hemisphere. So with all the relevant activity yesterday on the North, let's zoom in there. One off the limb and then two eruptions of filaments. These were absolutely gorgeous to watch unfold yesterday, especially knowing they were mostly an aesthetic feature. They did produce CMEs, but they were not too big. Wide and faint ejecta, with an excellent chance of arriving at Earth around the time the coronal hole stream is due. But there is a disagreement among models where NASA's Enlil spiral shows impact around the 19th or 20th, while NOAA's shows the coronal hole stream hitting with the CME tomorrow night. We will be watching the whole way. Big quakes yesterday as Japan took two, including a magnitude 7.3. Interestingly, the lower magnitude quakes in the Middle East can often be just as damaging. One hopes NOAA can get its act together as their Space Weather Prediction Center has several downtimes planned for the coming weeks, hopefully not during any major solar activity, but if you head over there and things look off, you may have caught them in a maintenance mode going to be quite a number of them over the next month. Up next, we are over at the Sky Scholar channel, where it is the 20th anniversary of Dr. Pierre-Marie Robitaille's New York Times page appearance. Dr. Robitaille is giving away a copy of the original publication, collector's item in celebration of the day he told the world what the sun really is. Check out Sky Scholar's latest this morning. And we're off to deep space signals as a fast radio burst has just shocked astronomers. Not only does it have one of the largest dispersion measures ever seen, but it's got a full-scale magnetic reversal signature to its radio signal, indicating a never-before-seen event has occurred there. It's a magnetic reversal like they've never seen associated with any other astronomical object. Folks, there's going to be no way to win the media battle over this one, but wildfire activity is one of the top things we should expect more of into the future especially when it seems like snowflakes like to coordinate massive wildfire arson events every year. But also, because this is one of the effects of losing Earth's magnetic field, and we see the similar activity prominently showing up with every major cycle reset. Last but not least, focusing on the most practically important aspects of the cycle harmonics, volcanoes and Dansgaard Oeschger events, we've already seen that they tend to come together and here they look into it and its major climate effects. After the sun was confirmed to control this cycle earlier last year, the inclusion of volcanic activity with each cycle has completed the story. Who's ready for the next one? We greatly appreciate your support. We've got a special deeper look coming later today on the galactic magnetic reversal we discussed yesterday. Expect that one for website members later tonight. We've got wind maps and shots of our star to close. Subscribe and we'll do this all again tomorrow right here, but right now it's 5.30 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.